her today. So it's very obvious that I haven't had a chance to talk about the games that I picked up during the Steam Summer Sale of 2013. So this is going to be just a, a quick or long video. I don't know. I'm just starting the scene. Things could get out of hand and talk about some of the games that I picked up. Um, how much money I totally did not save, and how I totally spent money on things that I didn't really need, but I spent it anyway. So the first game on my list is Defiance. It was like the first day of the sale, and it was a daily deal, and I picked it up for $13.59, $13 which is a bit much. Like, it totally breaks my rule of try not to purchase anything over $10. Uh, but I, my, I justify this per- <laughs> let me justify this purchase. I um, I know that the community isn't going to be there forever because it's a very big, you know, it's an online community, and I was like, well, thirteen fifty nine is reasonable for me right now, and I've been really wanting to play it. I've had a lot of people recommend it to me, and you know, it's just like it's online FPS. So yeah, that's how I justified that. <laughs> Next, I picked up System Shock Two, and I had some recommendations, and I watched some gameplay about it, and I've seen a lot of people just mention it time and time again, and just so many people say that you have to play this game. Of course, it's kind of like that first-person shooter, but it's it's kind of freaky, it's kind of scary. I picked that one up on a daily uh, sale for two dollars and forty-nine cents. So yeah, I'm really excited to play that because I love scaring the crap out of myself when it comes to gaming. The third game on my list wasn't something that I had on my wish list. It wasn't something that I really had in my list of things to keep, you know, an eye out for. Uh, was uh, Doom 3, the BFG edition. I picked it up on a flash sale for $4.99. $4.99. And I've learned that flash sales are the most dangerous thing ever. So dangerous. Um, I played Doom 3 originally way back in the day when it came out. I loved it. I love the Doom series. It's fantastic. I always wanted to play the BFG edition, so for some reason I was like, Psh, purchase. Didn't have to. Didn't need to. Picked it up. So I justify this one because it comes with Doom 1 and Doom 2, so it's like, okay, so it's like three games for four ninety nine, right? shouldn't have bought it, but I did, so I look forward to playing it. I picked up Oregon Trail Director's Cut for $1.24. It was, I can't remember if it was a daily deal or a flash sale. I mean, it had both, so it was funny because I was like, I'm not going to pick that up. I'm interested, I really want to play it, but I'm not going to pick that up. And it's like, really? You're not going to pick up a game that's for a dollar and some change, Kristen? <laughs> that's a question for you, Kristen. So it was funny because, um, Kristen with Game Meets Girl picked it up and she was talking about it on Facebook and I was like, oh, fine. I mean, it's only $1.24. You know, you already spent money four ninety nine on Doom 3. Might as well get this. And I played a little bit of it. It is, it is totally fun. It is, it is, you know, the original, like, Oregon Trail, but um, just, you know, a zombie apocalyptic mechanic, you know, story type thing going on. It's comical. It is so funny. This next one I kept meaning to pick up time and time again. Every time that Civilization buy one on sale, I've been meaning to get the Gods and Kings. That's what's yeah. I'm like, did I say that right? I think I did. Anyways, I keep meaning to pick up the Gods and Kings DLC for Civ 5, and every time that Civ 5 would go on sale, the um, Gods and Kings DLC would be seven dollars and forty nine cents, and I would just keep forgetting like. Oh, I need to pick that up. And then I forgot, and it was like, okay, I'm going to remember this time. So I kept forgetting Civ 5 went on, had a daily deal, and I forgot again, but luckily Civ 5 got a flash sale. And so that brought the DLC down to $7.49, and I was like, oh, thank goodness, I'm going to remember this time, and I grabbed it. So I'm excited about that because I love Civ 5, and the Gods and Keens opens up a lot of really cool Steam Workshop stuff of cu like custom maps that people have made. So I'm super excited, super excited to play that DLC. Evil Land, that was a game that was on my radar. I really wanted to play it, but it was, you know, kind of expensive. So hey, there's a sale. I picked it up for $4.99. I think it was on a daily. I think it was on a daily. Could have been a flash. I don't know. I think it got both. Um, but it's really cool because it just kind of goes through RPGs over the years and the game just kind of evolves and it's like a couple hour game. Um, but it, you know, $4.99 really felt steep for me. Like I was like, 
I, I was kind of hoping to spend like maybe three dollars and some change. I don't feel like, but I ended up just going ahead and spending the four ninety nine, which I didn't, I didn't exactly have to, but I did it anyway because I was like, I really, I really want to play that. So yeah, I got that. And this game is another case of flash sales striking again, and it, this is a game that I played originally on the PS two back in the day. And I've always wanted to go back and um, play the, you know, nice cool scholarship edition. I picked a bully scholarship edition for $3.74. It was a flash sale. And it was one of those games, because I never finished it on the PS2. I originally played it, like, I rented it, so I didn't finish it. And I was like, I've always wanted to finish that game because it looks so fun, it looks so cool, plus, you know, Rockstar, come on now. And, of course, I was like, $3 and some change? Flash sale? So I picked it up and I was like, ah, oh, just like Doom 3, I shouldn't have done this. There's no reason. This game wasn't even on my wish list, wasn't even like something that I was gunning for during the sale. Picked it up. So I have that game now. This is going to look really weird because this dog just magically appeared in this frame and he wasn't in the previous one. Just, just deal with it. Just, let's just, just deal with it. Um, this next game, I have so much, just like, so many issues trying to pronounce it. I always want to pronounce it Reyes. That's not, that's not how it's pronounced. It's like Russ, I think. You just don't pronounce the E. I just, <laughs> I'm probably pronouncing that incorrectly, so I'm sorry. Uh, but that game, I just like, I had no clue about that game. Hadn't even heard about it, and my sister had mentioned it, and a lot of people were mentioning it on Twitter and stuff like that, and so I was like, Alright, well, I keep seeing this game go on sale. It's like one of the main trading cards for the getaway badge. And I was like, alright, time to check this out. So, um, the last day of the sale. The very, very last day of the sale. Um, I was like, you know, you're just gonna need to pick up that stuff. He's being really cute right now. I know. He's the cutest little puppy ever. He's watching us. Okay. Last day of the sale. I was like, okay, I need to grab anything that didn't go on sale, that I missed, anything. I started watching some gameplay of the game, and I was like, oh, this is like a, this is a god game, but it's like really cool because it's like you're on the circular world and you just work with it. The art style looks amazing, it just looks so unique and so cool, and I was like, ugh, oh, damn it. Damn it, I need this game, so... I ended up picking it up, not on, like, I'm mad because it was $4.99 on a daily or flash sale or anything like that during the sale, but regular sale price was um, $7.49, so I bought one game outside. I, I broke a lot of my rules. I broke them, so I picked that up. I also got one game for free from a friend over on Steam. I had been chatting with them and I had mentioned how much that I wanted the game Primordia because... It was up for a Steam Community Choice Sale, but it lost a search in Simulator, as I had mentioned in the vlog yesterday. And I was so bummed out about it because I really, really wanted to play it. It seemed like such an interesting game. Plus, I love point-and-click games. So he was like, here, here, enjoy it. Have it. And I was like, thank you, thank you so much. So I played a little bit of it so far, and I love it. It's a lot of fun. It's not frustrating. So yeah, those are pretty much all the games that I got during the Steam Summer Sale. So in total, I spent $46.02. $46.02. <laughs> and that's a little much for me. I really didn't want to go over $30. But I spent that, so it is what it is, and I should have spent a lot less. I shouldn't have bought Doom 3, I shouldn't have bought Bully. I really could have lived without Oregon Trail, but I got it anyway, so. And then I ended up picking up a game that wasn't even on my radar until I looked it up and was like, this game is amazing, so. That's how much I spent, and that's what I got during the Steam Summer Sale. Let me know down in the comments some of the games that you got during the Steam Summer Sale. Kind of an idea of um, what you spent during the Steam Summer Sale. Did you do really, really good? Were you really strict with yourself? Did you keep yourself from spending way too much? Let me know in the comments, because I feel like I broke a couple of my rules. I feel like I spent a little bit more than I wanted to, but all in all, I'm still happy with it. I'm not bumming out about it, so yeah. So we're going to go ahead and end this. Thank you for watching. Remember, go down in the comments. Let me know anything and everything that you bought and how you felt about the Steam sale. Do you think it was, like, really awesome? 
or do you think it was kind of just lacking this year? And uh, I will catch everybody on the next video, so I'll catch y'all later. Bye. So, do you guys totally like my uh, creeper closet back there? That's slightly ajar and totally looks like somebody's trying to reach out of it.